Pence doesn't miss a beat the moment Congressman's wife trips coming off Air Force Two. More like Air Force Two left feet, am I right, guys? First of all, before I even get any further into the video, I just want to say, can you imagine the previous vice president getting involved in something like this? You know exactly what would happen if Joe Biden was the only one there trying to catch someone's wife from falling down. It would be exactly like that Family Guy clip when the... Yeah, I just wanted to look it up first, beforehand. Um, it would be just like that episode of Family Guy when... And, and it would just be like that clip of Family Guy when the Tin Man found out he was gay. I mean, the wife would go this way and that way and this way. No, not the wife. And then Joe Biden would be there, you know, and instead of Joe, instead of the Tin Man, it, the Tin Man would represent the wife. She'd wobble this way, wobble that way, and Joe Biden would be there, you know, fucking going, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. And it, it, except it wouldn't be funny because Joe Biden, as you may or may not know, is a sexual predator, and that's not funny. On Wednesday, Vice President Mike Pence didn't miss a beat the moment he saw the wife of Congressman John Culberson, Republican Texas, trip down the stairs coming up Air Force Two. Pence and Representative Culberson were walking down the stairs together when the Vice President noticed Belinda Cumber Culberson trip down the last step in the set of stairs. Pence immediately leaped to her aid where he proceeded to help the Congressman's wife up. See, look at this. I mean, we had a vice president who shot someone in the face, Dick Cheney. We had a vice president who gropes people, who gropes women and girls. And then now we have a vice president who helps women up, you know, when they fall. I mean, out of the three of them, this guy is, you know, this guy is the most pleasant of the three. Both the congressman and Pence could be seen talking to Cuba Culberson for a while, where they both gave her a hug and proceeded on their way. Mark Nolley reports that Culberson wasn't hurt in the incident, and the vice president went to greet supporters on the tarmac. Yeah, you know, you know the tarmac, the same tarmac where Hillary Clinton literally almost died at a packed house at First Baptist Church in Rockport, Texas. He said, I want, to I want to assure you, as I've assured the governor privately, we are going to continue to work with this governor and work with this state to rebuild until the job is done. Good job. Pence continued by saying that the Trump administration is going to work with this governor with all the wonderful outstanding volunteers and faith communities across this region until we rebuild Rockport and all of Texas bigger and better than ever before. Oh, nice! Quote, he said, The best states of Rockport and Texas and America are yet to come. Tim Acosta, at the close of his nearly 30-minute speech at VP Mike Pence, said, The best states of Rockport and Texas and America are yet to come, and I'm sorry you share the same last name with the reporter who shall not be named, but you know who I'm talking about. Uh, the Vice President additionally plans on visiting the Johnson Space Center on Thursday where he will talk about future missions to the moon as well as to Mars. I guess that's where, you know, I mean, yeah, you want to make uh, Rockport, and, oh my god. You want to make Rockport and Texas and America, you know, um, great and you say the best days for those places to come. You know, I, I support that. Yeah, the best days of Rockport and Texas and America are yet to come. That I can, uh, that I can support. But here's the one thing I disagree with Mike Pence on. I mean, why? Why do we need to go to the moon? Why do we need to go to Mars? I mean, I mean, call me, uh, call me what you will, but I, I don't know. I just think it's a huge waste of taxpayer money to go to the moon and go to Mars and go to other planets and stuff. I don't know. I, I just don't see the big deal. You know, we need to focus on protecting America. We need to focus on illegal immigration, and you know, let's let's put the moon on hold. Let's put Mars on hold. You know, until we until we fix the border and stuff. You know, that's what I want to tell Kim Carrigan when she opens her mouth about um, what's his face. That's what I want to tell Kim Carrigan and the rest of the mainstream media 
like whenever they bring up Michael Cohen. Like, let's just forget that nonsense for one minute and let's focus on illegal immigration and fixing the border.